Hey guys, welcome to School of Seeds. We talk about plants, gardening tips, and nature stuff. Daffodils, also known as Narcissus pseudonarcissus, is an easy to grow perennial flower that's native to Europe, Northern Africa, and the Mediterranean. While daffodils aren't native to the area, they seem to be beloved everywhere, and they naturalize well in New York State. They support bees and butterflies, are low maintenance, and they even self propagate. You can also divide their bulbs to encourage more growth. Daffodils bloom from late winter to spring and can grow as high as 18 inches. They come in a variety of colors, like yellow, white, and orange. They flourish in full sun but can be grown in partial shade areas. Their flowers and stems contain a liquid toxin called licorin, which makes them deer and pest resistant. Daffodils live in hardiness zones 3 to 8, and you can often find them in woodlands and meadows. Plant your daffodil bulbs in the fall between September and November, weeks before the ground freezes. Like many spring bulbs, daffodils require a chilling period in order to bloom in the spring. If you decide to grow your daffodils indoors, chill the bulbs in your refrigerator for about three months so they can grow in the spring. Daffodils are resilient. Regardless of how deep or shallow you plant them, they will adjust. But if you're planting them outdoors in areas that experience freezing winters, plant the bulbs twice as deep as their height. This will protect them from the cold. Add a light layer of mulch to help the soil retain moisture, but keep it thin. Otherwise, you could stop the plants from being able to break through the surface of your soil. By the way, if you don't have a lot of yard space, try planting miniature daffodils. They're adorable. Mass plantings of daffodils create a high-impact display, but you can also space them 6 to 12 inches apart. If you want them to have a more naturalized look, scatter the bulbs on the ground and plant them where they fall. Their blooms will last longer in cooler areas, which is why they are often kept outdoors. For longer bloom times, avoid areas that get hot. Daffodils need about an inch of water per week to grow, although they need more if they are competing with nearby plants for water. They will continue to need water a few weeks after blooming, but after that, stop watering. This will allow the bulbs to enter dormancy and store energy for next year's blooms. When the flowers fade, cut back the flowers, but leave the stems and the foliage behind. This will help the bulbs store more energy. While daffodils appreciate fertilizer, I prefer to use compost, so I don't have to worry about my plants getting fertilizer burn. By the way, daffodils grow well in pots or in soil. If you decide to pot them up, use terracotta pots, which are breathable and stay cooler in the summer heat. Shout out to our new Patreon supporters. Thank you for joining our community and supporting our content. If you'd like to support the channel, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to receive notifications from us. You can find our Patreon page in the video description below. And remember, everything starts small.